everybody in here has used for things to keep us warm and keep us stylish. Um, so you can go to the store and buy a store-bought beanie. Um, or during our wonderful winter break that's coming up, you could just take two movie sections and watch a movie with some hot chocolate next to a fire and make your own beanie. So I'm going to pass around um, a sample of a beanie that I made. Um, so here's a beanie. And there's a few other things you can make. You can make khaki sacks. Um, you can also make things like blankets. Um, this one is a work in progress, but I'm just going to show you guys so you have an idea. This is my someday for my someday child blanket. <laughs> but, um, you know, you guys can make blankets too and make them really fancy and get, you know, put designs in them, different things like that. So there's a lot of different uses for crocheting. Um, today, what I'm going to teach you guys, and Tyler's going to pass out to each one of you, if he hasn't already, um, a piece of yarn. Um, and everyone's going to learn how to do a basic crochet chain. Um, everyone should have the yarn. If someone is a little more advanced or has crocheted before and would like uh, a little more difficult type of yarn, let Tyler know. He has a couple different varieties. And I'm going to pass out hooks. I don't need a difficult one. I'll take it easy. Okay. So I'm going to pass out hooks to you guys. Hooks vary. They're generally listed by letter. And the letter coordinates to the size of the hook. So there's larger hooks and then there's smaller hooks. Um, I'm going to pass the hooks out to you guys. If you feel like you want less challenge, um, go with a medium to large size hook. If you want a little more challenge, go with a thinner size hook because they're going to be more challenging. Okay, so I'm going to pass these around.
Just a single knot or double? Can we let go? Just a single knot. Jackie's shot and like tightening. Okay, tight. Yeah. Oh no, I didn't mean it. Yeah. 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 Okay, so you stab down, twist and up, then the point of the hook is to grab the arm, so with the hook, you're going to be bringing this piece of the tail through, and you might have to lift it over for the very first hole. Okay? I'm just showing you one more time. Uh, oh, this is the same thing. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Got it? Okay. Okay, so now, now that you guys got that, we're going to make sure that you did it correctly. You should be able to take your hook out and pull, and it should come undone. Oh, no. No. Just do it. It's okay. Failure. Failure. You told everybody how to do it wrong. Sorry, Jeff. So one more time, guys. Everybody should have just a flat piece of yarn again with no knot in it. If you have a knot, just leave it for now and work to the right of it. Okay, so you're going to go down, twist, and up. Then you're going to take the tail, and you can even flop it over the top if you need to. That way you can pull that tail through the hole. You mean like a slip knot then? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is the only time that you have to do this. Is at the very beginning of making a beanie or a scarf or a hacky sack, anything. You just have to do this once at the very beginning. Can I take a slip stick with it? You can do that, Janelle. That's fine. Thank you. So I can't know how to do that. Yes, that was right. Okay. I'm going to move on to the next step, and you guys are going to have about five minutes to practice with a partner or if you need help. So the next step of what you're going to be doing is the basic chain. Okay, so what you're going to do, for the rest of the crocheting, your tail should always be on the right side, if you're right-handed. Okay, so it's always going to be on the right side, and the longer part's going to be on the left now. So the tail is only on the left at the very beginning. Okay, so this way. <laughs> okay, let me have everybody look it up here regardless of if you've gotten the knot or not. No, I Um okay, so to do the basic um chain, what you're gonna do is you're going to take the yarn and you want to flip it from back to front, so over the top of your hook, so that it's like that. Okay, so if it's hanging here, you're going to go back to front. Can everybody see that? Okay, so if it's hanging like this, you're going to go back to front. Good job, William, you got it. Okay. All right, then what you're going to do, so your hook, should actually be facing inward towards your body because that's going to allow you to grab the yarn. So you guys are going to actually pull the yarn through the hole. Because this is your first time, you might have to actually pull it over, but you'll get the hang of it. Okay. So over, and then I'm going to pull it through. Okay, I'm going to go over. And then I can even hold this if I want to make it a little more taunt on the tail and pull that through. And so we're going to keep that little extra loop. <laughs> you're going to keep you're going to keep the loops. Essentially, you're going to be making a sequence of loops to make a chain. Okay, so you're going to go over the top and pull it through. You want that last piece of material to stay over and pull it through. So Did you say pull it through what pull what? You're pulling. Okay, so. Yeah, so you, you pull this over, you have an existing loop, you're going to pull this piece through the existing loop. Okay, Okay. I'm going to give you guys all about four minutes to work with a partner. If you have questions, ask your partner. I'm going to be coming around to try and help you guys individually if you need a little more assistance. Okay. <laughs>